for over a decade, this, the Icon Pro, has been my trusted co-pilot. Its buttons, its faders, they are etched into my workflow. But eventually, legends have to step aside. And this is where legacy meets innovation. Say hello to the future, the Icon V1M. A door controller that is so advanced, it feels like it's judging me when I use the mouse. And the buttons, they feel so good, you might just start pressing them for no reason. This isn't just an upgrade, this is an evolution. This feels like a spaceship has landed in my studio on the desk. But the V1M doesn't just stop being an 8-channel controller. Add a V1X extender, and now you've got a 16-channel seamless setup. Go all in with three extenders? Well, now you've got a 32-channel powerhouse that wouldn't look out of place in a top-tier LA studio. It is scalable, professional, and it is downright impressive, giving you the flexibility to evolve your setup as your needs evolve. Right out of the box, the Icon V1M is sleek and futuristic, yet it delivers everything you'd expect from a high-end door controller. The touch-sensitive motorized faders and the jog wheel, they're ready to go. For many users, that alone is enough to revolutionize their workflow. Gone are the clunky buttons of the past. Instead, you get one of the V1M's standout features, a massive seven-inch touchscreen. This isn't just a cosmetic upgrade, this is a game changer. A fully customizable touchscreen that can handle up to 120 functions across five color-coded modes. It is intuitive, responsive, and it is a monumental improvement over the original design. And switching between doors is now faster than changing TV channels. This isn't just a design evolution, this is a rethinking of how we interact with our doors. The V1M really shines in its customization by diving into the IMAP software and tailoring the setup to your needs you unlock its true potential. This isn't just a one-size-fits-all controller, it's a blank canvas. Each channel is equipped with a standard pan indicator, OLED display, and a customizable color band for track identification. Icon have also brought the secondary display back, which displays up to two rows of text. But, in my custom script, I've programmed these two rows to show whether they're routed to a bus or the defaulted master channel. This level of flexibility not only makes the V1M powerful, but incredibly adaptive to my workflow. With support for extenders, the V1M scales up to an incredible 64 channels, making this a future-proof solution for both home and professional studios. The V1M feels as premium as it looks with a full metallic finish. This isn't a flimsy piece of plastic. It's heavy, robust, and it's built to last. Not only does this feel expensive, it looks the part too, making it the centerpiece of any studio setup. The jog wheel, it's bigger, it's smoother, and it feels expensive. The primary display, this is no longer just a text readout. It's like going from a post-it note to a full digital whiteboard. So, this all sounds amazing. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, door limitations. With innovation comes complexity. The V1M isn't just designed for one door. It supports 15 major doors, from Pro Tools to Ableton, Logic to FL Studio, and more. Now that is an incredible achievement, but that does come with a challenge. Each door speaks its own language. Whilst MCU and Hue protocols serve as universal translators, they don't always unlock every feature. Some doors will embrace everything the V1M offers. Some, not so much. And if like me, using FL Studio, you might have noticed things weren't initially as seamless as I'd hoped. The default integration didn't quite hit the plug and play perfection mark. I completely understand the frustration some users might feel when certain doors don't unlock all of V1M's features without custom scripts. And to make matters trickier, not all doors allow the option for custom scripts. For those users, I absolutely get why the upgrade might seem less appealing. If it doesn't immediately offer something beyond the previous unit. But here's the twist. Icon didn't leave it at that. They actively supported me as I built my custom script for FL Studio. They worked with me, helping me refine my integration. That's rare in this industry. Out of the box, the V1M standard FL Studio script covers most features. Faders, jog wheel, channel names, mute, solo, and so on. But one of the reasons I bought the V1M is for the color band functionality, which didn't work by default. Fixing this 
became a priority. I built a colour manager to convert the 8-bit RPG values into the V1M's 7-bit format. Finally, getting the colour bands to work as intended. I'm programming the secondary display to display bus information. These upgrades are also available on the FL Studio forum. Links in the description for that. I'll be diving deeper into the script in an upcoming video. The truth is, we're lucky that companies like Icon take risks on advanced controllers like the V1M. Integrating with over 15 doors is no small feat, and unlocking its full potential is incredible. It is a bold move, pushing the boundaries on what door controllers can be. So, should you upgrade? If you want expandability, customization, and one of the best feature sets for the price, then yeah you probably should. And if you're like me, an FL Studio user, my custom script turns it into a complete powerhouse. The bottom line, the V1M isn't just another controller. It is without a doubt the best one I've used so far. And I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. And thank you for watching.